no battery. Oh no. No we're recording. Happy days. Um, I've just done one side. We're just doing the coilovers. Um, they're my old ones. Same brand, but I think like the early model. update video I haven't done one for a while just been to see the guys at select a tire really sorted my car out I've put new suspension on the front and it's been handling so weird since and it's gonna got my alignment done up in here in Kettering and oh it already feels so much better I think I'm low already I just scraped like shit coming out of it and it's a miserable old day and I'm messing around for the last week, because Santa Pod's in two days. I'm messing around for the last week, like trying to sort the uh, sort the exhaust out because it keeps popping off. And finally I think Finally got it sorted last night. Because I'm worried that with the other one I was definitely not gonna get on track. Uh, it was way too loud. Um, and I actually think it's cool. I'm having hearing issues at the minute and I'm wondering if it was uh, not helping me in any way. So I definitely wanted to be able to have, this is a stock Jasmine one that I, uh, the car came with initially. And we took it off pretty much straight away and put a cherry bomb on it. But um, I've still kept it. So I think it's an HKS, it's an HKS manifold at least. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. It's nice to have a quiet car again. My music's better. Um, but it's just popped off at the last couple of days going to work, which has been really lame. But I'm hoping with this uh, alignment just done that these guys have just done the front and rear, so it should be properly sorted out now. Because I've had a bit of a drive with it, and it hasn't it hasn't been handling right at all. It's been really uh, really horrible. So I'm kind of hoping now it's sorted. I tell you, it really feels so much better. So much better. It was really springy before. I guess it might have been too low or something. I'm not too sure. But, um, but yeah. Right. But yeah, I used to come back this way from work and uh, we're going past where I crashed my car. Um, I had a, this was initially like a J Reg um, car, but the engine now lives on in this, which is an automatic, and this is a H Reg. Um, this is a way better Nick. Um, but yeah, I was just literally coming back from work. I had low fuel, I had literally none in the tank. I would usually fill it up, but. Um, I think my friend had my wallet which is being convenient and there's a roundabout, there's a petrol station on the roundabout basically, you as you'll see. And uh, for whatever reason I had to clear up my backside, I decided to be a bit overzealous on the roundabout, show him what rear wheel drive's about I guess. <laughs> Not intentional though, only a little bit. And uh, I think I got it out a little bit and as soon as I hit the exit of the petrol station where cars would come out, it just did a 180 straight away. I was going backwards for about, I don't know, 10 feet, quite about 20 mile an hour, 15 mile an hour. And uh, I had no control, slammed on the brakes obviously, but I wasn't stopping. And I slammed the passenger side, this side, straight into the, like, the apex of the kerb. Um, and it completely bent the chassis and didn't smash any of the wheels or anything, smashed some of the front suspension. Um, and then I had to limp it home and that front damper from that accident was the one that was on this um, And so since I've changed them out, I think now that it's got new ones on they compensated for the bent damper 
and that's not not any of that yeah that's not a thing anymore so hopefully with a new suspension now on the front but um yeah I haven't been to Kitchen at least about two years I should have gone to my old work really but I haven't seen anyone there for a long time Horrible old day. I'm not going to repeat the antics. It's too busy. That's not cool. But it's this roundabout here where I, tr I crash the car. I'm going to go on the little back country road as well, like going home. So if you see here where that yellow sign is over there, that's where I hit sideways. So I think because of this petrol station being here, someone obviously pissed fuel out. And I went backwards straight into that bit there. And it was not cool. I had to try and limp the fucking thing home. Oh, I've got grip. I've got grip. Yes. Oh, so good. mud on road. So yeah, um, I'll have an update. I'll probably do a little video on uh, the morning and Wednesday morning, uh, the MX-5. But until then, I'll, it should be cool. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's probably that same, my first drift day essentially. So I get to, my biggest thing I'm looking forward to is just throwing this into a corner, hopefully the kidney track. Third gear, just 60 mile an hour and going for it and going down second and trying to catch it. Um, I've got a drift button which I think I'm going to try and install now and see what it's uh, what I've got to do. I think it's got to really do a lot. Um, yeah, because I don't really want to be pushing that button if I can help it. I know it's not much, but um, it's going to be that, that side of things is going to be new to me. I've never handbraked into a corner. I've never done any of that. I've just gone Scandinavian flick, which I probably still will do. That that's that's what I'll try and stick with, but. Um, I definitely want to have a go at, you're going to need to keep, have the handbrake to keep it out, just if it is actually going to go well. I think I'm uh, completely overdoing what this car's capable of, but I hope not. I, uh, I'd like to think the car's going to outdo me more than anything, to be honest.